Before we get started, let's be clear here. I'm not an artist. I'm some sort of commissioned middleman. Novel AI is the artist. I'm just a middleman that helps people navigate to find the art that they desire. Ever since Waifu Labs became a thing back in 2019, I've been extremely interested in the concept of AI art. There's just something so appealing about the prospect of art designed by artificial intelligence and it not being horrible. That and the unlimited supply of anime girls to coom to, you can't even start to fathom how much I love being able to see unlimited anime girls that match my preferences. God, I love technology. There has been plenty of cool things coming from the AI scene that makes science fiction into reality. From the incredible rise of Dali E prompt based AI art generation, to the lesser known semi AI uprising of the character AI chatbots. However, nothing has grabbed my attention more than novel AI. You know, because it's specifically made for degenerates like me. So, novel AI is the Fortnite Battle Royale chicken dinner winner of the AI text generator services after Dungeon AI fell, being the only AI to still make sense after four lines of text generation. Well, it was just a text generator until early October when it dropped the single best image generator out there for disgusting weebs and degenerates, which is aptly called Novel AI Diffusion Anime Image Generation, a powerful tool that visualizes your imaginary scene, character, or visual story in mere seconds. Novel AI generates images through stable diffusion, which in normal people terms, means that the AI starts with a bunch of random colored dots, you know, visual noise. Then it tries to connect the dots into an image, and slowly over time, the visual noise becomes art. But what is art? In this case, that's a very simple question. To Novel AI, art is what you put in the text prompt bar. You should be familiar with this with all those memes, right? You just need to type something in the text prompt bar that you want to see, something like Cerno aiming gun, and then boom, Novel AI gives you Cerno aiming a gun. A weird, misshapen abomination of a gun, but hey, that's definitely Cerno Toho. Or you know, that girl that breakdances and says funky. However, the thing that makes Novel AI especially powerful is its incredible ability to create detailed anime characters through a tried and true weave degenerate tactic. You know when you're on a brew like Safe Brew, Dan Brew, Rule 34, and while you're admiring the art that's posted there, have you ever paid attention to those funny little words on the side of the page describing the content of the image? You know, stuff like bangs, black hair, belts. Yeah, you can use tags like these to help be more descriptive on your character. Through the power of training off burus in anime, it's pretty easy to create something that you'll like through the tags. Be it a fit tomboy GF or a depressed I can fix her girl. Anything is possible as long as you can describe it. And get the tags to like, actually work? Like, come on. Why does bags under eyes give you literal bags under the eyes? Quite literally, the limit of your creation is your imagination and how good you are at describing more niche things. And what was uploaded to the burus when Novelai was using it for training images? And your patience with how slow the client can get. And your patience when it comes to generating the perfect images. And money. Did I ever mention how much it costs to use Novel AI? Because this quality of remote image generation doesn't come for free. Novel AI is a limited free service, which means if you only wanted to use the text generator for a limited amount of generations a day, it's free. However, a paid subscription is required to use the more advanced generation tools, and more importantly for our purposes, the image generator. There are three levels of subscription to Novel AI. A $10 subscription, a $15 subscription, and a $25 subscription. The $10 and $15 subscriptions are identical when it comes to image generation, giving you enough currency to generate 200 prompt based images, which is a lot. But from my experience, I know that it doesn't even last you a day, and there are other types of image generation that you would want to do that you could spend your currency on. I would recommend trying out with a $10 subscription to test the waters and see if this thing really interests you. However, if you realize you're a bit addicted to this and you love generating images, then you should go for the $25 subscription as it allows you to generate as many images as you want as long as it's prompt based. You also get 10 times the currency as the other subscriptions, which can now be fully utilized for things like variations and image to image generation. But that's how it happened. That $25 subscription was the catalyst to how I became an AI artist. It all started because my PC was broken, and I had ran out of things to do to pass the time. I mean, I rewatched both of the only two animes that I thoroughly enjoyed this decade. What else could I possibly do? Then Novel AI Stable Diffusion came out, 
and I bought a $10 subscription. Then in a day, I ran out of points. But at this point, they got me. I was addicted. And a few days after that, I broke. I upgraded my subscription and started flooding my phone with AI artwork until my gallery app would literally crash my phone. I decided to spread the joy of AI art by taking commissions to generate images with novel AI. My clients being my friends. It started with some simple things at first and here and there, you know, floating islands, Tony Hawk anime, an original Toho character, Fire Emblem Colgate, the annoying orange at the Vietnam Memorial. Then they started designing OCs. And then we started having fun seeing these OCs in different art styles and doing different things. The boys as Toho characters. The boys as Yu-Gi-Oh! duelists. The boys on the cover of mangas. A beach episode with the boys. Hot Springs episode with the boys. The boys as dads. The boys as moms. The boys and more. And then, it happened. The dreaded eventuality happened. Hentai of the boys. So you are of legal age, have paid for a subscription of Novel AI for the month, are a degenerate, and is suffering from sunlight deficiency? What better way to waste your life away than create hentai with the help of AI? The process is quite simple, you see. All you need to do is change that good old diffusion filter from anime curated to anime full. Add the sweet, sweet NSFW tag, and all the sick, deprived, disgusting things you want to see will happen. And then you'll cry because you're not skilled enough to actually create the scene that you want since it's actually kind of hard to get specific things done on Novel AI. Like Novel AI Stable Diffusion doesn't even know what a is or the complexity of position or what's the difference between a and a tie. So you have to completely simplify and break down normal tags to the bot. You know, you gotta tell it what exactly makes up a And then when you try to fix things and telling it where a goes, you start getting horrors like weird slugs coming out of mouths or coming out of mouths. But yeah. Basically, my friends are degenerates, and they wanted a lot of hentai of the characters. And that's what leads us to today, where I'm creating random AI art for random Twitch streamers and my friends, so that other people can see how cool and powerful AI art is getting. Many people still see AI art as products of weaker tools and modules, and are unaware of how powerful and good AI art is getting now. To me, the main thing that matters is that people see how cool this technology is, and to see the joy of people seeing their ideas realized, as generic and sappy as that sounds. I am literally making negative money from this. Also, I am helping to boost the small artist economy since I have gotten some people to actually commission their OCs because they could visually see the design work, rather than just like imagine it imperfectly and not be able to describe it. From what I've seen, AI art from Novel AI has given people the extra push to go and actually reach out to small artists for commissions. Especially since most people don't even know how to navigate the AI's inner workings to get the end result they actually want, rather than what they have described. 